This video is showing some of the changes that have been made in the August 2015 software update of IQ. And here I am at the main menu and I'm going to touch utilities. Here is a new button that says configuration. It used to say preferences. Let's touch it and see what happens, what we get. Now I've got three choices. It says configuration at the top. I've got interface setup test. I've got motor control setup test and I've got preferences. Let's look at the interface setup test. Um, these are basically settings that are uh, set when your IQ is put on your machine. You, the only people who might come to this page are people who, who have more than one machine and use the same tablet on both machines. Then they will switch um, that. Otherwise, um, this is the old setup test page. It's just in a new position. Uh, you also might be told to come here if you're getting errors. Um, this is where you would do the communication test. You touch the button and mine says, OK, OK, OK. Um, you get to test your single stitch and you start switch. The other, uh, the second choice on the configuration page is motor control setup test. Here we have just a few selections. Some of these, these used to be on the preferences page. Um, again, they're not ones that are, you're going to be changing that often. Um, that they're pretty much set when you when you get your IQ. The third one is preferences. Oh, and now we've only got four preferences there on this screen. We've got the date time. We've got the cursor type, which I can change from hand. I've selected it so it's turned red, and I'm touching the plus button to a cursor that just looks like a crosshair to hit, hit the minus and it turns it back to hand. I've actually got my cursor off and I've got the warning beep duration uh, here. There used to be a long list of these, There's now there's only four. This is also where we come to uh, change our timers, project time, stitching time. So that's pretty much the same, there's just missing items. Now where have those items gone? Let's find out. So I'll hit finished. Those are the three configurations which are under utilities, uh, which means as you're working, you occasionally come across the utilities button, which means you can get into the utilities without backing right out to the main menu to change whatever you want there. Um, you won't be doing that so often because now we have, um, now we have buttons where we can change things as we go. So I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to go design sew quilt, start new, add a block. Um, I'm going to mark on quilt. Oh, here's a new button. This is one of the configuration buttons. If I touch that, now I've got a choice here. It says add another block prompt enabled, which means after I've marked this block, I'll get a pop-up window that says, do you want to add another block? If you don't want to see that button, you can touch it and then touch the minus and now it's disabled and I won't see that, uh, that prompt. Now sometimes you might want to see it, so you know, it's right there uh, on this mark on quilt, mark the block uh, page so you can change it as you want to. So let me just quickly mark a little block here so we can move on. Okay, finish. Okay, so now I want to add a pattern. Add edit pattern, add pattern, lock pattern. Here's another configuration button. Let's see what it's what choices we have here. Now here I've got two choices that used to be on the preferences page. Pattern rotation while fitting enabled, pattern flipping while fitting enabled. I don't want it to do either of those things. I don't want it to rotate the pattern. I don't want it to flip the pattern before it puts it in my block. I want the pattern to go into the my block exactly as it appears in my catalog. So I'm going to disable both of those. Um, okay, use current block, and I will just get this pattern here. Um, modify pattern, let's go across here to our additional tools, magnet tool, shape shift and distort. If I touch one of those, 
I immediately get a configuration button. I'll go into that in a, in a second video. So any place you see this button appearing, it means there are choices um, allowing you to set up IQ to work as you want it to. Um, without having to go back to the preferences and change the settings there. You can do it on the fly. You can change them, um, you know, from quilt to quilt. Some quilts you might want to have the, the next block prompt. Others you may not. So, um, you, and you'll find this button popping up on several screens. Okay, so that's a basic overview of the main change which has happened to the preferences, um, allowing you to configure your IQ to your preference.